Hi, Wheel of a Sale consigners. This is Bryn with the Clothing Directors team, and I am going to do a couple of videos here this evening about hanging things on hangers. Um, I tried to do one whole video, and it just didn't work today. I spent quite a bit of the day working on it, and it just didn't work. So I'm going to break it into a little bit. So this is about the hangers themselves. So consigners find hangers in lots of different places. We get um, plastic hangers. We get wire hangers. Yes, you can use wire hangers. Um, we just ask that they uh, are in good condition, and they're not super bent out of shape. Um, Occasionally we have consigners bend them to help hold the clothing on. Um, that's fine. You just don't want it to be something that's going to make it hard for it to hang on the rack. Um, plastic hangers are great. There's ones you can buy at Target and other stores. Um, the ones that come with clothing, those are fine. So like when your kids were little and, or are little and they their clothing comes on hangers, those are great. Um, one other tip, when my kids were starting to get into the larger kid sizes, their clothing in their closets was starting to fall off their hangers um, a little bit more. And so I have three kiddos. And so what I did was I actually bought adult size hangers at Target and then um, went through each kid's closet and switched all their hangers to the adult size hangers and that gave me three sales worth of kid size hangers that I could use to consign their clothes on. So um, that way I wasn't buying hangers I didn't need and I didn't have to buy and give away hangers that otherwise would help my kids closets out. So um, that's one tip for hangers. So these are just shirt dress hangers and then we also get a lot of questions about pants hangers. So pants hangers have different styles. There's this kind with the the pinch clip where you pinch it and it opens and you pinch the clothing. Um, then there's also this style where it holds tension by putting the fabric between the two pieces of plastic you can see over here. This kind is fine as long as after you hang it, if you pick it up and you can give it a good shake and the clothing doesn't fall off, that should be fine. If the clothing falls off, it is not gonna stay during the sale. So either you want to use a different hanger or another thing you can try, see how this one, the way it's hanging, the, the um, center is coming towards me. Sometimes if a hanger has been stretched one direction, you can actually put the clothing through the other way. Pardon the boxes on my table. You can see I'm still entering my stuff. Um, you can do it the other way and it will give it a little more tension. So um, that is one idea for those. Then we get questions about outfit hangers. So this is like an infant size outfit hanger where it's got the drop bar for the pants. There's also this kind where it's got a loop on the top and you would put the pants on this part and then hang it on a... Um, a shirt hanger with the other part of the outfit looping through like that. So those are all fine. Um, we do sometimes have shoppers ask if someone puts a pair of pants on this, and I understand why you do it if it's the only thing you have, um, but there's nothing on the top, like it's you're only selling a pair of pants and you put it on this, we get shoppers who think there's something missing. Um, same thing where if you put it on a hanger like this and you're only selling a shirt or you're only selling pants. Um, the other thing is these are a little bit more hard to come by. So I always save these for when I'm doing outfits. Um, one other thing I'll touch base on with this, and it'll come up again when I'm actually hanging clothes. If you are selling sets or outfits, one thing I would recommend is when you're looking through your hangers, find hangers where the you can see the hooks line up really well versus like this one with this one where it's not the same. I'll show you better this way where it's misaligned and this one is not going to set nicely with this. We'll talk about how to attach them together, but you can see this is going to be a much better alignment and easier to attach with similar sized hangers than that. So um, when you're looking through hangers, just a few tips for you and hopefully that helps with the hanger question and a couple ideas on where to get them. And I'll be back in just a minute with hanging things on the hangers.